So we're taping an important uh, little discussion this afternoon, aren't we? So we are going to uh, talk about STEM projects, faculty and student collaboration. I would like to ask my students, Zola Tofti, who is a Chris scholar, to briefly introduce herself and speak for a few, few sentences about her project. My name is Zola Tofti, like Professor Marciniak said. Um, I'm a mechanical engineering student. Um, and as part of the solar energy research team, I worked with Professor Marciniak to study the benefits of agrivoltaic technology uh, this last year. So my teammate, who's not here today, David Fuentes, and I designed a 231-acre agrivoltaic farm that grows crops underneath solar panels and runs its sustainable drip irrigation system on the solar energy that it generates on the farm. Thank you so much, Zola, for this uh, wonderful overview. Uh, so now I would like to ask President Adams to share his view of possibility of boosting STEM projects. As Professor Marciniak has pointed out, and I say this all across CUNY, and New York City and beyond, LaGuardia Community College is the third largest producer of STEM majors in the CUNY system of 25 schools. And we follow in that, in that, in that honorable position, you know, we follow City College, well known as an engineering school, of course, and City Tech in downtown Brooklyn. So of course, we're the only community college in that very small group of leadership institutions when it comes to STEM education. Now, we want to bring even more STEM projects like the one Zilla has described to our students because we know how important the, the projects are to our students. They build confidence, provide professional experience, help shape careers and more. As I think, you know, you, Joel, we all, we've all just heard in the way that Zilla has described her project. Um, oh, oh so, wait, excuse me one second, I'm sorry. This is, uh, yes, yes, what? Oh my, um, Z Zilla, what's, what's your last name? Sorry. I I don't know your last name. Tofty. <laughs> really? Zilla Tofty, you've just been named a 2021 Jack Ken. No. <laughs> no. Congratulations. Oh my God. I like, I like recognize, I was like, all of these professors are professors that I know. <laughs> and and Elise is here. I was like, Professor Navarro is here. What's happening? And I was like, okay, let me just speak, I guess. I, I just, Professor Mosiniak asked me to speak. What? Let me, let me, let me, uh, you know, are you sitting down, Zilla? You should be I sitting down for this. As you may know, but it bears repeating, this is based on your academic achievement and let's be clear, your 4.0 perfect GPA participation in our honors program, membership in Phi Theta Kappa, where you and I met a few weeks ago. Your persistence reflecting the fact that after being a semifinalist, we were semifinalists for this last year, you continued your work and applied again this year. So if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, as they say. Uh, a demonstration of unmet financial need, that's important. And of course your leadership, which is demonstrated by your participation in the CUNY Research Scholars Program and excuse me, and your work on the LGBTQ project of the LaGuardia and Wagner archives as a Gardner Schenker scholar. All these incredible things you've been doing in your time at LaGuardia. And also, also I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I'm here to say all these things and embarrassing no end. And, and representing LaGuardia to friends of the college because you are also have been in, in the President Society, uh, as I know. Um, anyway, all of these forms of academic involvement highlight the breadth of your academic talents and they show us all how you have embraced all these different opportunities and they highlight the range of academic research and, and, and special projects like yours, these research opportunities that we have at LaGuardia that we're so proud to offer you and your fellow students. Um, 
an, uh, uh, an important point about this scholarship, as you know, is that this year in 2021, uh, for the Cook Scholar, you'll receive up to $40,000 a year for up to three years. That's up to $120,000. Then you'll be eligible for graduate school funding as well after that, which I suspect will be in short order, sooner rather than later. Um, now, uh, can we just take a moment to give, in a, in a Zoom way, it's sort of hard to do this, but we've got to give Zilla a big round of applause. Oh. Yeah. Congratulations. 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 Zilla. Congratulations. Zilla. Congratulations. Zilla. You, by not letting put you, you put you on the spot and ask you to say a few more words. How do you feel? Uh, um, I feel like you guys did a really good job surprising me <laughs> because I didn't expect this at all. I was like practicing what to say last night because Professor Marciniak asked me to come. Um, I don't know. I feel I, it's a little bit blurry right now, but um, everyone here, like, like, I don't know what to say. I need to call everyone. <laughs> I'm delighted and so happy for you that you've won the Jack and Cook scholarship. Crazy. Really helps financially, right? Big time. And it's a big honor. I mean, that's something yeah. that will never ever disappear. Like, and you have that you have that honor, that distinction for the rest of your life, right? So congratulations. Thank you. And, thank you. and yeah, let me also just take a moment to thank everybody who's just been a part of your LaGuardia journey. Uh, and in particular, all this great work that you've been doing through your projects in environmental sciences and, and beyond. It's all because of LaGuardia and the faculty members. And oh, yeah, this is so strange. <laughs> All right, one more round of applause. Yay. 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 Yay.